Greetings YouTube. Now, I want to talk about something a little bit different in this video. Uh, normally I don't keep track of what's going on on the PlayStation Store all that much, but I can't help but notice a few things. Now, ages and ages ago there was a bit of a furor when a certain shitty game made its way onto the PlayStation Store, and that particular game was called Life of Black Tiger. And it kind of drew everyone's attention to the fact that Sony had put this game on there and presumably had vetted it because they have control over everything that goes on the PlayStation Store and somehow they still let it on there. Now, I have done a search for Life of Black Tiger and it's not on there anymore, so at some point it's been removed. So you can't fall into that bear trap anymore. But in addition to those, uh, into the occasional shitty game that's on there, I want to draw everyone's attention to something slightly different. And it's uh, a certain style of point-and-click hidden object game by a company called Artifacts Mundi. Now, these are not bad games. I'll say that right now. These are not bad games. But they are hidden object point-and-click games that you might find on a PC. And now they're on the PlayStation Store. And this is why I'm pointing this out to you. So... I'll just type in Enigmatis, which is one of the games that they do. Gonna have to wait for the PlayStation Store to load up and decide. Oh, it's a bit quicker than it was earlier. Right, so this is one of the uh, Artifacts Mundi games. You can tell that because it says Artifacts Mundi. And as I say, this is not a bad game. It's a point and click uh, hidden object game. And I'll have a play of it in a minute. But... It is worth mentioning that it is not the only game on here. So, for example, description, it says, Imagine waking up after a powerful storm as the sun goes down. You find yourself just outside a small town on the side of the road. A shiver runs down your spine. Ooh, as your body remembers the recent dramatic events that your mind cannot or will not recall. Ooh, will you dare to solve the ages-old mystery of Maple Creek? End of description. At no point down here does it say that it's a point-and-click hidden object game. It says adventure, casual, friendly, uh, audio... Alright, that's just English audio, whatever. Subtitles, file size, Artifacts Monday. That's it. It doesn't tell you what kind of game you're getting into. You have to watch the, the now pretty standard trailer video that accompanies most games on there now. But here's the thing. It's not the only game on here by Artifacts Mundi. We've got Nightmares of the Deep, Nightmares from the Deep, sorry, Dark Arcana, Grim Legends, and Enigmatis 2, because Enigmatis is actually a trilogy. Now, point and click hidden object games are all well and good, except that when they go onto the PlayStation Store, they end up going up against games like, well, like Neo or Horizon Zero Dawn, or Persona 5, full price games. Now, it's only 8 quid, but even so, it's going up against far better quality games. And some people could pay that 8 quid expecting something different. Maybe you don't expect a hidden object game because it doesn't tell you. So maybe some people might regard this as a bear trap. It's not a bad game. I quite like Enigmatis. Out of all the ones that Artifacts Mundi do, the ones that I've played, Enigmatis is my favourite. But it still doesn't tell you. And another thing that bothers me about this, just as Sony snuck Life of Black Tiger onto the network, they didn't announce that these games were coming on. And if you look here, it says 8 quid. Hey, Sony, you're not fooling us by putting 7.99, okay? It's 8 quid. And if you look down here, Nightmares from the Deep, 8 quid. Dark Arcana, The Carnival, 8 quid. Grim Legends, The Forsaken Bride, 8 quid. Enigmatis 2, normally 8 quid, it's down to 5. And if I, if I were to click on that, it would tell you it's from the beginning to about halfway through November. 8 quid, okay? But, but, if we go onto Microsoft's page and pull up Enigmatis, same game, £4.99. And this is because 
these games, these point and click uh, hidden object games. Sorry, I'm typing from my keyboard on my tabletop computer and I'm looking at the TV. If we type in a search for Artifacts Monday, which by the way you can't do on the PlayStation Store, it won't let you, it comes up with no result. You can see all of these games on here now, 124. Half of them are actually the demo version, so you can halve that number straight away. So it's about 50, 60. Um, so these free versions are all the demo versions, but if we scroll along until we find something, Eventide, same developer, same type of game, £4.19. Enigmatis 3, £4.19, £4.19, £5.79, so, let's call it about 4 quid, 4 quid, 4 quid, 7 quid, uh, 6 quid, sorry, I can't read, 6 quid, 6 quid, 4, 4, 6, 4, 6, you get my point, and yet if we go onto the PlayStation Store, 8 quid, 8 quid, 8 quid, 8 quid, this is what bothers me about them. It, Sony have put the games up on here. And again, I feel the need to stress, these are not bad games, but they're hidden object games. And it doesn't tell you that. That's what bothers me about this. And they're more expensive than if you got them through Microsoft's, because that was Microsoft's uh, own store on Windows, by the way, that I was on. And you can get the games in other places as well. If I can click on these. Because I can click on, for where is Enigmatis 3? I can click on Steam here and go to the Steam page for Enigmatis 3. And even that's 7 quid on there. So it's a bit more expensive than Microsoft's own store, I think. What is, uh, where is uh, Enigmatis 3 on here? I'm not sure where it is. Oh, Enigmatis, no, that's the free version. <laughs> I hate the fact that there's two versions of them all. Enigmatis 3. Enigmatis 3, £4.99. It's right there. It, it's cheaper on Microsoft's Windows Store. So this is why I'm, I'm letting you know about this stuff. Uh, I, I don't know if anyone else has alerted everybody to this, but and so few people watch my channel, you probably won't give a shit, but I'm going to start keeping an eye on this kind of thing. I am. I didn't before, but yeah. It's not good. If you want these kind of games, then fine. But get them from the Windows Store. It's way cheaper. By the way, if you do want to buy stuff from the Windows Store on the on the PC, um, you can just get Xbox uh, uh, cash cards. The Windows and the Xbox cards, they're the same thing. They're exactly the same thing because it's the same platform. Well, it's two different platforms, but they're both owned by Microsoft. They're both Microsoft Cash, so... Because I had a hard time getting Windows cards. Okay, so I said I was going to show you what Enigmatis, the Ghost of Maple Creek, was like, and this is it. I already bought it on the PC before I spotted it on PlayStation, so... Let's just go straight into this. Oh yeah, Ghost of the Past, it's an extra episode, whatever. Ghost of Maple Creek. Expert. It's not that hard. So this is a cutscene. What what happened to me? One minute I was and now now my heart is beating and my ears like hummingbird wings. And my hands are shaking. And covered in blood? It's not the cold that's sending shivers down my spine. It's what just happened. An event I have no memory of. Okay, so as you can see, the cutscene is just a still image with certain still images moving across the screen and the voice acting is not brilliant. So th again, this is the quality you should expect. The artwork is pretty good though. And it, again, there's, there's a lot of stuff going on up here with the weather effects and whatnot. And again, leaves blowing across the screen, still images. It's a fairly basic type of game. So this is what to expect. Again, you can see still images moving out of the way. Mm. And a key. 
Okay, so you can already see it's pretty basic stuff. I remember now. I came to Maple Creek in search of a missing girl. And I'd already started the investigation when... When what? Wait, my notebook. I was renting a room here. I've got to find it. All the evidence I've collected should still be there. So, I think I've got everything and into the town. Awesome transition. It is very old school. Ah, now here we go for the first hidden object section. So this is how it works in case you don't know. So we've got to find all the objects on the list. Now the stamp would appear to be an important object because it's marked in blue. So, let's see. Uh, roll, ah, roll escape. There we go. And it crosses it off the list down here. That's pretty much it. Uh, teddy bear. Let's see, garden soil. Will that be a pile on the floor, or will it be in something? The game's the same every time, but I can't remember. It's been a while since I've played this. I'm a little bit stuck on garden soil. Uh, let's go for angel head. Where's the angel head? <laughs> this is going to be a really crappy let's look. Stockings. Uh... No, that's a sock. Oh god, a uh, sneaker. Got that. Banners. Uh, no, there we go. Uh, stamp. Sometimes these games do this to you. I'm looking for a postage stamp. But that's not necessarily the only type of stamp. There's also like a rubber stamp, you know, where you do an ink pad and... Maybe I'm... maybe I'm getting that wrong. Maybe it's a different kind of stamp. <sighs> Riveting stuff, huh? Uh, let's move on. Uh, moon? Is that a moon? No, it's a tooth. Not it. Oh, I think I found the angel head. It's like a it's like a disc. Belt bra tie. Oh, I think I've spotted the bar already. Belt, I already got spotted that. Tie. It's not that, is it? No. Again, you're not quite sure. Because this is an American company, it's an American game. Sometimes they'll call things by the American name, and because I'm British, it sometimes throws you. Tie. Where's the tie? Oh, it's there in the background. There it is. So what have we got left? Garden soil, stockings, stamp, moon. I've probably seen them a million times already. This is the thing. The screen is... Oh. What did I say? They were even bloody moving, for Christ's sake, and I still couldn't see it. Um, garden soil, stamp, and moon. What would garden soil even look like? It's not a beer or something stupid, is it? Ah, oh, right, it's a bag. It's a bag with a plant logo on it. So you don't know exactly what you're looking for. Stamp and moon. So much stuff on screen. Oh, is that it? it? It was like a little pendant of a moon. Stamp. Not that cupcake thing, is it? No. Stamp. Again, I don't know if I'm looking for a postage stamp. It's not that, is it? No. 
thought it might be like a lipstick stamp, but shaped stamp or something like that. Okay, you know what? This is a good time to demonstrate another feature of this game. You can ask it for a hint every so now and again. Really? The blue logo. Right. In this game, when, a, when an object is highlighted in blue down here on the list, it means you've got to do something in the environment first to reveal the object. In other words, the object isn't in plain sight. There it is. And now stamp has turned to white. And there's the stamp. In this particular hidden object game, uh, one of the objects that you find in the environment will be a useful item. It will actually have a use in the area. It will be a key item. So that goes into the inventory. And that's that. Oh, the chain isn't too strong. Well, put your shoulder to it then. It's not as if you can add to the amount of damage in this area, but no, you need a key item, of course. You can't just... Oop. Help me, missing girl, yep, whatever. Oop. Uh, okay, uh, pink background disc, no. Uh, no. No. Okay, I have a disc in my inventory already. Put that there. All oh, right. It wants me to align the discs properly. There we go. And then we can take that disc and put it in there. So now we have to, this is again another type of puzzle that this game can do. Instructions, I don't need bloody instructions. So that disc looks like it goes there because of the streak across it. Uh, that disc, it looks like it goes there, but again because of the streak. Uh, let's see. Uh, no, that's not right. Ah, that's better. Uh, there's like three things around the base of her neck. So I think it's that one. That one doesn't look quite right either. Uh, yeah, that looks better. There's like a dark disc there, in, uh, a dark thing in front of her there. Uh, two shoulder things? Oh, so, no, no, not that one. Oh yeah, and Two of them are slightly in the wrong place. There we go. Right, I don't have the disc for that, so back out. What time are we on? Eleven minutes. I don't want to play this for too long to add it onto the end of the video. To the car. Oop. Ooh, spooky. Again, people just shuffling off into the distance. Uh, again. Wild boars. As, as they do. Car keys. Detective has gone missing as well. Oh. Shadow. Yep. Spooky. I like the way that the access card has artifacts written on it. I don't think there's anything else to do here. Trunk key. Open. And another hidden object section. Statue of Liberty. Oh, there it is. Measuring tape. There it is. Question mark. Hmm, question mark. Oh, I can open that. 
So this is a point where you can cheat if you if you spot that something can open and you spot that there's a, a blue item down here. You know, if you, when you open it, the blue item goes white, you know that it's inside. So you barely have to look for it. It's sort of white cheese. Oh, question mark, there it is. Headphones. Bingo. Bolt cutters. That's probably the key item, is bolt cutters. Oh, there it is, wrapped around the, the trunks. Support. Umbrella. Hmm. I know, that's a windscreen wiper. Umbrella. It's amazing how well hidden some of the objects can be. Uh, croissant. There we go. Pinecone. Uh, pen knife. I'm pretty sure I just saw the pen knife. There it is. Oil can. Uh, no. There it is. Scales. Hmm. Scales. See, am I looking for a set of scales or... Oh, I'm looking for a logo of a set of scales. Again, you're not quite sure. You've, you've got to keep your eyes open and keep an open mind sometimes. Umbrella. I must be totally blind. Or at least that's what I think sometimes when I'm playing this game. Umbre oh, it's a drinks umbrella. I was looking for a bigger thing than that. And bolt cutters, they were the item I was looking for. So now I'll be able to get back into here. There we go, key item. And the item disappears from your inventory, which shows that you don't need it anymore. You get the point. You get the point. This is the kind of game that, that it is. There's a, an investigation section as well to this game where you have to pin the clues that you've found. There's, actually, I think I can, yeah. The, this is the evidence board. It's actually upstairs in your room just past here, but I, I'm going to stop the video here because I don't want to keep on about this. But the idea is that you drag these to circles that appear on this board, and when you link them all together, it opens up more of the story. It makes it a bit more interesting than your average point-and-click adventure. Anyway, that's Enigmatis, the, glo bleh, the Ghosts of Maple Creek. Got a frog in my throat today. Yeah, so it's not a bad game. If you like point and click, uh, hidden object style games, I can recommend this thoroughly. But don't get it on the PlayStation Store. It just, just go to Microsoft's uh, Windows Store. It's cheaper. Quite a lot cheaper. I mean just over four quid in comparison to eight quid. I'll keep an eye out for things like this in the future, but yeah, just be aware that they're there. See you next time.